Hello everyone, welcome again. Today in this tutorial, I will show how to display data from MySQL database to a HTML table using the PSP programming language. Now this is a part of a full video. I have a video on my channel if you check, it is called CRAT operations. So CRAT operations means create, read, update and delete. On this video, I am just showing uh, read operations. That means displaying the data. Now let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new to the channel. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you will have to start jump control panel. Um, just search it on your program list. And we need two modules, Apache and MySQL. Just click a start on, on those two. And if you don't have jump, you can download it from internet. Just type jump download and you can download either of these two websites. Just download it for your own operating system. After you download and install um, on your installation folder, in my case it is C drive. So on the C drive, on the C drive there should be a new folder called jump and on the jump folder you should see another folder called stdocs. So you'll have to put your program or your code on this folder. So let's create a new folder here. And let's name it fetch data as you will fetch data from database. And now we'll open it using the Visual Studio code or any other code editor if you want, you can use. So let's open that folder. Local disk C, then um, champ, and then it's two docs. And the name of the folder is fetch data. Let's open it. Now let's create a new file here, index.psp and let's just write some code here. So we'll have to write the PSP code inside the PSP deck. I'm just testing if it's working or not. So, so just um, display hello world here. Now let's check it on the browser. So we'll have to access through localhost and then the name of the folder. Uh, so name of the folder is face data. Yeah, it's working fine. So by default, it takes the index.psp. So it is showing hello world. That means uh, our setup is our environment is ready. Now we can um, put the code. So let's remove the hello world code. Now, first of all, we'll have to create a database on the uh, to add the data on the PSP MyAdmin, so localhost then PSP MyAdmin. Here, let's create a new database. Name it Students, and let's click Create. And we need four columns, and the table name should be like Users, and click Create. Here, the first one should be ID. It will be integer value, and it will be auto increment, also primary key. And then let's put first name, last name, email. First name should be varchar. Varchar means um, variable character. Uh, so it should, it, it's like, uh, it is used for smaller strings. So the length should be based on your requirements. I'm putting here 128 for all. Uh, 255 maybe for the email. Now let's click save. <laughs> All right, so we have the table ready. Now let's add some data here. Let's click insert. And for the first one should be auto incremented, so we don't need to put any value there. And then first name, let's put Chris Hemsworth. Sorry, Chris should be the first name and then Hemsworth should be the second name. Okay, I forget to change the type of the last name and email. So let's change it. Sorry about that. So the last name, um, the last name should be Barchar again. And the length should be 128. Let's click save. And then the last name uh, and then email should be Barchar again. And length can be 255. Now we are ready to insert. So let's insert the data. Uh, first name, let's put Chris, and then last name, let's put Hemsworth, and then email, let's put 
freeze at example.com now click go so and let's add another data here let's click insert will is the first name and smith second name email will at example.com now click go all right you have two values now two rows now now uh, we can show these two rows on the on the html table so let's prepare the file here so let's first of all let's put the html boilerplate code using the shortcut and here let's change the title to something else like fetch data and then let's put the html actually you can use bootstrap to design it we don't need to use lots of css so let's just grab the bootstrap cdn uh, bootstrap cdn and we need the css only and we, we can copy the html code so and we ha will have to put it inside the head tag now let's um, now we can easily um, create this table <coughs> without using any style of our own let's first create a div with container and here let's put the table we can grab the table code the boilerplate code from the bootstrap so let's just search bootstrap table and we can use any one from here let's use this one or maybe i think this one is better so let's copy this code all right let's put it on our container dip okay now let's make a little bit formatting all right so now for the let's change the text here so for the first it should be first name and the third column should be the last name and then the fourth column or last column should be email so it is for the header it should it will show on the uh, on the header let's let's check it how it looks so far so localhost fetch data yeah it is like this let's just add some margin on top and bottom of the table uh, or the container so we can use the buddhist plus my and four now should add some margin and padding yeah so it added some margin on top now we'll have to actually uh, grab this data from the database so we don't need all the rows we can just keep one row and we'll um, we'll run a while loop with PSP here so we have the static data now we'll have to grab the data from the database so before that we'll have to actually connect the database so let's do it uh, right here let's insert the PSP code and here first of all we'll have to connect the database using the mysqli connect function and in this function we need we'll have to provide four arguments the first one is host name second one is uh, second one is uh, database user third one is database password and fourth one is database name okay so for the host name uh, the host name is by default if you don't change the settings on the uh, PSP might mean the host name is um, localhost and similarly the password username is root
password is uh, empty by default there is no password and the database name is you as you know we created the database name as students let's double check it in the piece to my admin yeah it is students let's copy it all right now let's put this connection into a variable so that we can use it later so let's name it con short for connection and let's first check if the connection is successful or not using the if statement so if connection return false we can check that using the not operator so if connection uh, is result false then we'll um, stop the code execution here by saying connection is not successful all right now if uh, if the connection is successful then we can actually um, run the database query so first of all we'll have to store the query the database command into a variable so for in this case the database command is select star star means all select star from uh, the database table name so in this case the table name is if you check here users so select stars from users yeah so this is the sql command we'll have to run now we'll have to put this sql command into a function called mysqli query And let's store this um, function into a new variable called row or result. Uh, this function need actually another argument name uh, the the connection variable that we st where we stored the connection. This one. So the first uh, uh, argument should be that variable, and then the SQL command. Now uh, we can grab the result or row from the result using another function called mysqli fetch array now um, you'll have to uh, put the result as the argument on this function now this uh, this function returns the first row if you call it first time and when you call it second time it will return the second row so if you call it third time it will re return the third row uh, um, uh, until the um, it reaches the end of the data so now to show all the data we can <coughs> we can keep it inside the while loop of PSP so let's do it so while and we can also put it in another variable called row so while row mysqli fetch array here the argument is result so as long as it fetches the um, data from the result variable we will show the data into the um, table as row and columns so we can just copy this and put it inside the while loop now to display it we'll have to use the eq statement and let's as it is a string we'll use uh, double quotation and here instead of double quote we'll use single quote because um, we cannot use double quote inside double quote now um, we'll have to change this data actually we'll have to make this data dynamic now these are just some static data we'll have to grab this data from the database so let's just store this data in variable first so first one should be id and and we can grab it using the row uh, variable it is an array as you see the function name it is my scalar feature so it returns an array so here the array key for the id should be id that the, the column name from the database so if you check the database the column name first one is id then first name last name email so the second one let's copy it second one is first name first name and here the column name is first then underscore name and then we have second name Let's copy it again 
two times second name is second name again here the column name is second underscore name then the email the last one email here the Eric is the email now we'll have to just put the variable inside here inside the td or tstd whatever so first one is id second one is first name third one is second name and then email that's it now let's check it on the browser so we should see two rows of data as you know we have added two rows here so let's check let's refresh it undefined error key second name on line 36 we have an actually it's showing the data but for some reason it shows an error on 36 line so on the 36 line row second name all right second name all right so let's check on the database what is the second uh, uh, yeah it is actually last name my mistake sorry about that so it is last name now it should be okay there should not be any warning yep it's showing all right let's set another data here so let's put a uh, mirror con and then email a uh, mirror at example.com now if you refresh it should show three rows of data yeah it is showing three rows of data now so i think that's it if you have any question please let me know in the comments thank you thank you for watching my video my tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe